Hi there, I'm Carrie Grant and this week is Autism Awareness Week 2021 and a very exciting week it is. So I thought in order to celebrate it, I would have a little chat with one of my children, Tylan Grant, who plays Brooke in Hollyoaks, and what it's like for an autistic person when they navigate coming out of school and into the workplace. When you were in school, what were you told about work? My head teacher was uh, doing this assembly and he had a picture on the screen of uh, I'm a celeb and um, Big Brother uh, and like things like that. And he was basically saying that realistically, I know you would love to dream about doing things like this, but you, you guys aren't gonna be doing things like this. And then the next slide was being a teacher. By that point, I didn't really listen any further and I just walked out of the assembly because how are you gonna just discourage a whole like room of young people who have like their whole life ahead of them and basically tell them this is as good as it gets. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a teacher or a post person or anything like that or even something that's more academic, but um, to not give anyone the option to want to venture out and do different things. Uh, the teachers were like, why did you walk out? I said, because he basically said that this is as good as it gets and like that my dreams aren't gonna happen. That must have been really strange when you then got yeah. a job at 16 when, you know, when you started on Hollyoaks. What, what difference did Hollyoaks make I have the privilege of going into a job where they actually wanted someone that was neurodivergent and like that was what they had intended when auditioning people was to cast an autistic person. So um, it was very like unusual for me to even be in a setting like that where people wanted me. Like I wasn't in the position where a lot of like artists would either like not tell people that they were autistic just in case they didn't get the job or they would do things after to try and get adjustments so it, I was very lucky to have them want to uh, learn and educate themselves so that I could have um, an equal opportunity to everyone else. When I was in my second audition and they asked me to write a form about some things that may overwhelm me or just any different needs that I have. They said, you can write anything, um, just be honest. And I was like, okay. Cause I thought that I, I need to make it like less bad. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they won't have to do as, they were just so like open to just, yeah it just helped me and it was really good to know that um that I am not the difficult one and it was really just other people's ignorance that stopped me from really like succeeding in secondary school and in primary school but it was just really cool to it's really cool being with people that know so much about um, autism and I'm like seen and understood. And yeah, I'm, I understand now that my needs aren't just special. My needs are mandatory and they're important and it, they need to be there for me to, to be able to do things. So if you imagine there might be people watching this that might th be thinking of, employing autistic people what do those people need to know about autistic people i think like there's some ingrained ableism that a lot of people have around surrounding like uh, allowing autistic people or disabled people jobs uh, especially in the creative industry because um they treat it like for me my autism would be like a setback um, rather than an asset and I think that it's important to cast 
neurodivergent people. Talk to them, see what makes them comfortable and how you can make them feel um, celebrated. Also like, that might not be for everyone. Like Google is free. Most people have access to books on the internet and it's not up to, you know, every disabled person or anyone like that that you meet to, you know, have to explain their existence to everyone because that can be very tiring and no one signed up for that and also just reassurance especially if like for me because I hadn't been in a space like Hollyoaks before it's sometimes confusing like if you don't say anything sometimes I might assume that I'm doing a bad job a lot of the directors would just give me a thumbs up or just reassure me when I was doing well and that helped so much so if you're just very clear that can be helpful, but also just speak to the individual and um, you'll just learn a lot. Sometimes you have to tailor things to suit their needs um, and just make them feel understood and know that they're not a burden um, for you having to shift some things around because um, we have an idea that some things, it's just easier to not hire autistic people um, but really that's just ableist because we think it's easier, but it's just more neurotypical. Yeah. Let's have a great Autism Awareness Week 2021. Celebrate your difference.